Hello and welcome to Radio Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 3rd of December and I have yet more news for you on the PS4 and its sales figures. As Sony has announced that the PlayStation 4 has sold over 2.1 million units worldwide. Now obviously when it launched in North America on the 15th it sold 1 million units within 24 hours. It then of course launched in Europe and Australasia on Friday the 29th which added 700,000 sales from both both of those territories as of the 1st of December, including around 250,000 from the UK. Now, just to add a bit of context to this particular piece of information, the PS4 is currently available in 32 countries. So that's pretty impressive considering 2.1 million within such a short space of time is pretty impressive. Now, of course, it has been out in the US for just over two weeks but of course here in the UK has been out just basically not even a week yet it seems longer than that somehow but uh, there you have it so just keep that in mind. Now we do have an official statement from the Sony Computer Entertainment boss Andrew House and he said quote it's an impressive and record setting accomplishment for our company and for our industry and we couldn't have done it without you. I want to personally thank PlayStation fans both old and new for your vote, vote of confidence. The best part the PS4 journey has just begun. In addition to an incredible lineup of PS4 games from the best developers in the world we will continue to introduce valuable new valuable, excuse me, new features and services to the PS4 in the months and years ahead. While PS4's capabilities will continue to evolve, our commitment to gamers and breakthrough entertainment remains steadfast. We believe that video games represent the pinnacle of artistry and entertainment, and we will work tirelessly tirelessly to make sure that PlayStation remains the best place to play. Thank you for your passion and your support. We couldn't have done this without you. Now, Sony has indicated to its investors that they are expecting to sell 3 million PS4 units worldwide by the end of the year and 5 million by the end of the financial year in 2014. So there you have it, a rather impressive start for the PS4 to say the least. Now I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on some information regarding the sales figures of the Xbox One as I'd love to do a bit of a comparison and basically, you know, see which console is actually doing better after months of speculation, months of anal uh, analyses, excuse me, and of course just months of looking forward to the next generation. It's finally arrived and I just want to basically buckle up and go along for the ride and just see who ends up basically, well not winning, winning is the wrong word, but just seeing you know what console ends up ahead in the long run. Now of course we have quite a few figures for the PS4 as I did a video uh, yesterday I believe about how the PS4 smashed the Wii U sales figures within a I think it was 48 hours and that's the lifetime sales for the Wii U by the way. So the PlayStation 4 is doing very very well. Now the Xbox One is of course going to be doing very well as well as of course that's pretty much turned into gold dust as is the, with the, the case with the PS4. So I'm looking forward to getting some more solid facts from Microsoft on that regard and I'd love to see, to see the final facts for the financial year in early 2014. I would imagine that would be April-ish if I remember correctly but still it's going to be interesting and I just hope that after a successful launch from both parties we're going to be seeing a steady flow of high quality titles and of course high quality gaming from both sides of the fence. Anyway that is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.